welcome the Buffaloes of West Texas A&M. Canyon in the building and Coach Josh Lynn in the building and in, in the back in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, after six years up there at Nebraska Kearney, you guys, you're back. Um, what's it like to be back in the Lone Star Conference? Well, I'm, I'm extremely grateful to be back in the Lone Star Conference. Uh, extremely happy and blessed to be at West Texas A&M. Uh, great, great administration. And, you know, I've always called the Lone Star Conference home. Um, I played at Eastern New Mexico University, coached there. And it's just good to be back. And the, the weathers are a lot lighter. I'm sorry, the winters are a lot lighter in Texas than they are in Nebraska. So yeah. That feels like a selling point. Sure, no uh, doubt. Can you tell us a little bit about the gentleman to your left? Yeah, absolutely. My first one to my left here is uh, was J.T. Cavender. Um, had a great year a couple years ago. Got hurt last year. Um, has come in and done a really nice job with the new staff, with the new defensive coordinator, Levi Gallus, who's with us here today. Um, and really just kind of the staple of West Texas A&M football over the last couple of years. Uh, to his, to, to my, the second one to the left here, okay, is Noah, Noah Bogardus. Noah is a, a West Coast guy from California that uh, was a transfer uh, from Azusa Pacific that uh, when they canceled their program that West Texas got his hands on. And uh, we're, I sure am glad they did because a uh, good person, great player, and uh, he's also the staple of our offense and, uh, you know, one of our leaders. No, let me ask you a, a, a question about your off season because it was a little eventful. Uh, you did put your name in the transfer portal, but you took it out to come back to Canyon, to come back to West Texas. Uh, what brought you back to WT? Uh, yeah, I mean, Coach Hughes brought me here from Azusa Pacific, and I had a great relationship with him. But I mean, being in the transfer portal, I was weighing my options, and then Coach Hughes. I mean, Coach Lynn, knowing his background at Nebraska Kearney, running the triple option, kind of scared me away a little bit. But then he brought me back in, telling me we're gonna throw the ball. We're going to be a 50-50 team, so that kind of reeled me back into West Texas, and I really like it there, so easy choice. Uh, JT, you're coming off of, of, of an injury, the elbow injury that cost you half the season uh, last year. Um, how are you feeling overall, and, and how anxious are you to just get back out on the field and hit somebody? Yeah, well, um, I, I didn't really think I could be more excited after last season coming in and um, getting to play Western Colorado at home. I was extremely excited and um, really didn't think I could get more excited than that. But now here I am, and I've got another level of excitedness to me. So um, I'm ready to go, and I feel extremely healthy. That's, that's great to hear. Coach, uh, you know, Noah mentioned that, you know, you, you guys have historically, you've been an option guy. You've, you've run the option there at, at Kearney. Um, I know you've changed and evolved a little bit over the over recent years. So, so what type of offense can we expect from, from the Buffs in 2023? Well, we're going to take a lot of our run scheme action that we did at Nebraska Kearney with us. Um, we're still going to always have an option con component to it. Um, you know, uh, another thing too, what we you know we went from Eastern and then went to Nebraska Kearney. We did need to evolve a little bit. Um, we need to be able to throw the ball, and um, we're going to evolve again. And uh, we're going to put out an offense that you know, like you know, like Noah said, we're going to try to be a 50-50 run pass team and and try to take advantage of. Uh, you know, every inch of the field that we possibly can. Uh, you know, Noah, you've been the team's leading receiver the last couple of years. New scheme and new quarterback. You have a new, new guy throwing it to you. What's, what's your goal maybe personally this year? And then, and then obviously, what, what, what's a goal you have for, for this offense? Uh, personally, it's kind of be better than I was last year. I mean, just keep going after each team every game, just doing what I did, same thing last year. And then for the, te for the team uh, offensively is be a leading offense in the in the conference and kind of just get us at the top of the leaderboard, score points whenever we have the ball in our hands and put us in a good position for the defense. JT, you know, you, you played for Coach Hughes and now Coach Lynn coming in. What changes in the program have you noticed as a player, as a guy who's been in, kind of ingrained in this program for a while, what changes have you noticed with Coach Lynn taking over? There's a lot more excitement. Everybody, uh, I think, needed a change. And uh, Coach Lynn comes in every day with a, a lot of energy. And uh, we need the we need practices to be a lot more exciting, 
And I think that's something that he's really done a good job of. Uh, Coach Lynn, when, when you took over and you addressed your guys, you know, you're a new face for these guys. What was your message to them when you first addressed them as head coach? Well, I believe there's a, a lot of tr tradition. Uh, there's plenty of excitement around West Texas A&M football. And, you know, we need to get that excitement back. And, uh, you know, I've inherited a, young, a group of young men that are hungry. Um, I've also inherited a group of young men that are some of the hardest workers that I've been with. And we need to generate some excitement. And not only just with wins and losses and things like that, but we need to generate some excitement to where these kids can have a good experience. And, you know, I think that carries over on to the, the Saturday's wins and losses. Uh, finally, JT, the last time we saw you here at Lone Star Conference Media Day, you were sporting a, a, a beautiful mustache. It has now blossomed into a beard, and yet the, the gentleman to your left is presently out-mustaching you. Is that a concern for you heading into the 2023 season, that you're being out-mustached by your own team? Yes, his, uh, his back is hurting. He's, he's currently carrying me right now, so that's tough. That's tough. <laughs> I need but to get it back. That's, that's teamwork, though, you know? Yeah. Somebody's got to carry the load. <laughs> Noah, did, is, is this uh, is this going to stick around for the for the season? Oh yeah, this has been here for a couple of years now. Yes, got to. It's going to stay with me for the rest of my life. I love it. Fantastic. <laughs> Let's give it up for the West Texas A&M Buffalo. Thank you.